Law Warrior Armor Manticore Heavy Tank Overview The Manticore is one of the best designed and powerful tanks ever created. The vehicle is most commonly seen among the forces of House Steiner and Kirita, though the tank also sees service among the armies of the other three houses. Although the Manticore mounts a variety of weapons and is heavily armoured for a vehicle of its weight, it isn't equipped to deal with super heavy vehicles, such as the Demolisher or the Behemoth. The tank was simply not designed to be a stand-up fighter. Capabilities Mounting a large variety of weapon systems, the Manticore is capable of handling almost any combat situation. Because it is so useful, the Manticore is one of the few fusion-powered vehicles whose power plant has not been appropriated to supply mech forces. The tank's main weapon is the Particle PPC. Unlike other particle cannons, the Particle doesn't use an energy collection capacitor or similar chamber. Instead, it uses a series of magnetic collection bottles that gather their energy straight from the fusion reactor. These energies are then channeled through a larger magnetic bottle and released from the cannon. This fires an energy shell that loses cohesion and disintegrates at around 540 meters. The particle's bolts are unstable at ranges under 90. The Manticore's next main weapon is its Sure Shot Mark VI SRM rack. The weapon is mounted on top of the main turret, just above and behind the particle cannon. It's mounted on a vertical and horizontal swivel mount, giving the pack a full 120 degree arc of fire, independent of the turret. The Manticore is capable of indirect fire with its Farfire medium missile rack, and like most long range missile units, the Manticore's missiles are patched through a complex series of fire control systems that can track targets over any type of terrain. The Target Track 717 targeting system gives the tank the ability to combine its fire simultaneously with other missile units to maximize the effectiveness of a missile strike against a particular target. Battle History The Manticore has proven itself to be a tough fighting vehicle, even against superior odds. On one of the many battles for the planet Morningside, a unit of invading Curita battle mechs was intercepted by a small Steiner Manticore force. The Steiner troops knew the surrounding terrain better than the invading forces, but the Curita unit was better equipped. The battle started out as a meeting engagement between the two sides. The Manticore fired on the mechs with their PPCs and long-range missiles. Momentarily shaken, the Curita forces staged a withdrawal. Moments later, however, the Curita mechs had regrouped and turned back to fight the tanks. Three Steiner mechs and over ten tanks were destroyed in this first engagement. Both sides staged a momentary retreat and then moved back into fighting position. This time, the Steiner defense forces were more wary of the Curita mechs and used their long-range missiles for indirect fire instead of trying to move close for the attack with the shorter-range weaponry. Most of this fire was concentrated on the Curita long-range firepower mechs such as the Archers and Trebuchets. At the end of this second engagement, the Curita forces had lost six mechs, and the Steiner forces had lost only five Manticores. Seeing that they could no longer rely on long-range firepower, the Curita forces moved in as quickly as possible and attacked the Steiner Manticores. This was the most effective tactic against the defending units because it prevented them from bringing the power of their main cannons to bear on the close targets. Although eight mechs were destroyed, the Steiner forces lost over 20 tanks. Luckily for the remaining Manticore units, the Curita commander considered his losses were too high to continue the fight, even though he had severely crippled the defenders. The Curitans pulled back and left the planet. Variants Technicore doesn't allow purchasers of the Manticore to make any modifications. Any tampering or exchanging of Manticore equipment immediately voids the service contract, and Technicore will make no repairs on a modified vehicle. Strangely enough, most customers respect this restriction. Notable Vehicles and Crew Joe Bob Jones, Billy Smith, Tex Walters, and Jimbo Peterson. These four Manticore crewmen used their tank, the Lone Star, as a super heavy recon vehicle. On several occasions, they've taken on and destroyed several units of lighter enemy recon units. Their famous battle cry of Yee is the last thing enemy recon troops ever hear. Lady Jane Lady Jane is the first Manticore registered as having killed an Atlas assault mech. It's currently on display at the NAIS War Museum. Ah, the Manticore, one of the more commonly encountered heavy tanks of the Inner Sphere. 60 ton mass, tracked vehicle with a Pitban 240 fusion engine, cruiser 43, flank of 65, armor is Arc Shield Maxi 2. Armament is a particle heavy cannon, 
one far fire medium missile rack, one sure shot mark six short range rack, and an OMI high burn laser. Manufactured by Technicore, targeting and communications. Uh, sorry, targeting and tracking is Target Track seven one seven, and communications is an OP slash R Genixa. It's uh, yeah, a little hard to read this one because it's one of the coloured images from uh, TRO thirty twenty six, where they kind of printed it onto the onto the the, the sort of colour printed page. Uh, but it is uh, four and six, obviously, with the uh, with the speeds. It has two hundred and forty endurance infusion. Blah blah. There it is. Uh, heat sinks are thirteen. Uh, it's turret armor. Uh, so its armor is one hundred and seventy six. Forty two on the front, thirty three on the sides, twenty six on the back, and forty two on the turret. Uh, the LRM uh, for anyone interested is an LRM ten when it says a medium missile rack. Back in the early days of the writing stuff, they tended to sort of use these sort of loose terms for things. Heavy, medium, uh, you know, light, long-range rack. What they meant was LRM 5, 10, 15, 20, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, loads of people encountered manticles over the years in MechWarrior and Battletech-related games. They're a pain in the ass. They're nasty. They're not that weakly armoured, considering it says that, oh, it's not, it's not designed to stay in the fight. I don't know, mate. It's not too bad. 42 armor on the front is, alone is enough to deter quite a few shots before you get that penetrating hit. And even the side shots on, are still going to be a bit tough at 33. It's, uh, yeah, it's a solid little tank and definitely one of the more dangerous adversaries you can encounter, uh, regardless of the mech, uh, whatever mech you bring in. Even a 100 tonner doesn't want to really encounter a, a, a manticore or two, uh, realistically. It's a lot of firepower that the pilot's got to contend with. But it's, yeah, one of the all-time classic uh, main combat tanks of the Inner Sphere, probably seen across the periphery as well, and I'm sure it was used heavily against uh, the clans during the invasion, who, let's face it, the clans would have encountered far more tanks than they did mechs, e even with the Hell Memory Core uh, coming back. The Manticore certainly would have picked up its fair few uh, kills on the invaders, or at least damaged a lot of them before being destroyed themselves. Oh yeah, the laser, yeah, that's, uh, sorry, that's a medium as well, the OMI high burn laser <laughs> it's a medium uh so yeah it's uh it's a decent little tank it's a weird looking piece of artwork uh, i'll give it that i have no idea how i'm going to be able to chop this one in without having all the stats on you may have to just look at it as it was printed as as the uh battletech writing gods intended uh but i'll find some of the other artwork as well which you've probably already seen during me rambling so uh yeah i've always liked the manticore it's it's a cool sounding name for a tank it looks I, I think the looks are going to be down to, to your own personal preference. In the original art, the uh, missile rack on the top is feckin' huge. It's uh, <laughs> It looks like it would be a huge giveaway for the vehicle, but I guess it also makes sense that it's high-mounted, allowing it to fire over the terrain without having to expose more of the vehicle. Um, it's, it is an odd-looking design, but at the same time, I kind of like the fact that the tanks don't just look like you know real-world tanks, um, that they have such... Well, I don't know, kind of odd proportions and, and odd shapes to them. They're, they're kind of cool. So, yeah, the original Manticore. Um, yeah, uh, I've got nothing else for you. So uh, have a good one all. Thanks for joining. I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good day.